Andy, I'll, I'll come to you first, if I may, because uh, obviously there's a, a growing number of uh, space-related companies uh, out there. And, and just tell us exactly what's different about yours. Low-cost, reusable rockets, is that right? Yeah, thanks so much. So Stoke is building fully and 100% rapidly reusable rockets designed specifically for the satellite market. Companies like SpaceX are a freight train to space, and that's great. We are the low-cost, on-demand sprinter van that takes you directly to your final orbit. And obviously, there is growing competition in the space, Andy. I mean, are you feeling that? Are you finding that? Or is the addressable universe just so great that, that uh, even though there are those other companies you mentioned, that you feel like uh, there's no one really challenging you? First of all, the addressable uh, universe, as you say, is large and it's growing. Um, but I think there's as much activity as there is in space. There's still very few parties who are able to get to space, and there are even fewer focused on the 100% reusable um, aspect of what we're doing. It's very important also to think about, um, I guess, things that are reusable and things that we consider operationally reusable or reusability 2.0. So these are things that can turn around very quickly, much more like an aircraft and less the way we think about traditional rockets. Alexis, I know, I know you're investing and you're surely giving Andy a lot of money, but how do you compete with the deep pockets of Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, literally the two richest people in the world? And Bezos has said he cashes out, what, a billion of Amazon stock every year to fund this? Yeah, bring it on. Uh, I think one of the reasons why I get to do my job and one of the reasons why we're so excited to invest here at 776 is because the nature of startups, the nature of innovation is all about small obsessed, dedicated, high-performing teams of individuals coming together to move faster, more effectively than the large incumbents. And as amazing as the work is that those two companies have done to pioneer the space, it, it actually really just sets a, a sort of precedent now that a startup like Stoke can, can far exceed. I mean, what this company has done in just eight short months uh, to prove out manufacturing techniques, uh, to actually build and ship uh, is, is really nothing short of remarkable. And so just like Google uh, and Amazon exist in the tech ecosystem to inspire and push folks to build billion dollar companies, uh, I think that's the role that those rocket, rocket companies are playing for, for companies like Stoke. Uh, I'm interested, Alexis, how many other space companies you've researched and looked at and, and perhaps rejected choosing Stoke instead of them. Uh, is this uh, your way of playing a very attractive uh, subsector or was this the only company for you? You know, we looked at about a dozen others over the last year or so. Admittedly, this is a nascent space. I mean, we were very much in the earliest days of this. Um, but what was so exciting was Andy and his team have you know, tremendous bona fides. When, when we're looking at nascent industries, uh, you know, when, when making a seed investment in Coinbase in 2012, uh, there weren't that many other crypto companies to be looking at, but you get to know all the, the folks building uh, pretty quickly. And then you find the CEOs that you have the highest conviction around. And, uh, and that was the case with, with Andy here and, and ro reusable rockets. So Andy, just talk us through quickly your, your timeline as to when this is gonna become a reality and, and what you have in store. So we closed our seed at the end of last year, as, as we said, um, we are building very quickly. We're focused on reusable second stages that turn around with a 24 hour turnaround. That's the last big domino to fall in what we consider the holy grail of rocketry. That's 100% rapidly reusable rockets. So that's what we're focused on. And we'll be designing, building, and flying that reusable second stage by the end of next year. Um, from there, we, we scale up and work on the first stage and, and go orbital.